The Girondins were most active between late 1791 and early to mid-1793. However, their impact was the strongest throughout much of 1792, the year of international law. From the time of the Legislative Assembly's opening on the 1st of October 1791, they were the main radical opposition to the Fulons Club. The Brissotons, a subset of the Girondins, started a campaign for war, and by March of 1792, the Girondins had created a war ministry, a pro-war group of Girondins who had control over important ministries. By April, they had convinced Louis to declare war. Although their actions-oriented war policies helped them stay on top, as the Jacobins rose to power and the terror began, the Girondins were ousted. The Jacobins had felt that the Girondins were too sympathetic to the king and realised that they would be in danger if the revolution subsided. This ousting was achieved by the head of the National Guard on the 2nd of June 1793, as supported by the revolts on the 27th and 31st of May. The Girondins influenced the new society by setting in motion, through the assembly, practices that would become stepping stones towards the terror. Brissot, for example, suggested that emigrated nobles should have their property confiscated if they did not return. They also sent France into its first wars of the revolution. They supported making France a republic, and after this was achieved and the violence of the revolution started to escalate, they tried, and failed, to bring the revolution to a close. In 1795, the survivors from the group were reinstated in the convention, and those dead were proclaimed martyrs of liberty, something that suggests that their actions and goals had some kind of lasting impact for the revolutionaries that could be acknowledged when the excitement of the terror had begun to die down. The Girondins are significant because this loose coalition of people were at first the radicals of the Legislative Assembly and were in favour of republicanising France. Although being ultimately non-violent of intention, they caused the year of international war, successfully sending the country into wars against, primarily, Austria and Prussia. As the Jacobins grew in strength and the National Convention was formed, the Girondins became the more conservative of the groups involved due to their aversion to disorderly political conduct, and tried desperately to slow the progress of the revolution. This led to their elimination at the hands of the Jacobins, who wanted to keep the revolution going and stay in power. Many of them were arrested, and their trial was on the 3rd of October, 1793, and many of them were executed on the 31st.